Let's talk about how you can recover your hacked Google or Gmail ID without having access to any of your recovery methods. So there are two different ways. Either you can use any of your Google application. If you're an Android or iOS user, you definitely have this Gmail and Google application in your device. So you can use any of these applications. As well as as a secondary option, I will show you how to recover through your web browser. So let's jump into our first method. For the first method, you can use any application. Here, I will use my Gmail application. You can use any of your Google application. The recovery process is almost same. To start, open your Gmail application like this. After that, tap the profile icon in the top right corner. Then you will get the list of account. Here in the pop-up window, you have to tap add another account option. Just tap that one. After that, you will get this setup email option. Here you have to select the very first one, Gmail. After that, it will go for a checkup. After checking, you will get this sign in window. Here you have to enter your hackered Gmail ID. After entering your Gmail ID, you can tap the next button. Like this, I will tap the next button. Then it asks you to enter your password. Here you can try out any of your old password. But if you don't have access, you just tap the forgot password option. Now it will show you all possible recovery method one after another. If you have turned on two-step verification using another application, it will list out here as well as if you enable some backup code, you can enter it here, then it will check another two-step verification or another recovery method. Here, if you already added a phone number to your device, it will show here. Like this, they ask to verify yourself. So you can tap the continue button. Now, they ask me to get a verification code to my phone number. Here, if you remember this phone number, you can enter it here. After that, they will send a verification code to verify yourself, then you can easily recover your account. But unfortunately, if you don't have this SIM card, you can request a new SIM card from your telecommunication partner. After that, you can reset it. But unfortunately, in most case scenario, if hacker has changed everything, including your recovery phone number and email, just tap the try another way option. Now it will show all recovery email address. The first one is my current email address that I'm going to recover right now. This is my recovery email address. You can select that. Then you can request a one-time verification code to this email address. After that, if you can access this recovery email address, you can enter that code and go forward and recover your password. But unfortunately, if you don't have access to any of these recovery email address, if you already added some alternative email address, you can try it too. So in worst case scenario, just tap the Try another way to sign in. Then you will get this error message couldn't sign you in Vira. So if you got this couldn't sign you in Vira, I invite you to watch the error fixing video in the description. After watching that video, you can easily fix this issue. So here they ask you to select at least one verification method or they ask you to use a device that you signed in before or you can connect to your family or your office Wi-Fi or your mobile network. So in this video, I will show you a simple trick to fix this error. So close this application. Then if you are using Wi-Fi network, you can switch to familiar Wi-Fi network like office or home Wi-Fi, or you can switch to your data mode as well as I recommend you to turn on your location permission, then Google can track your location. After allowing this permission, instead of using application method, you can try out with your browser method. As well as, it is better if you can turn on all these permission in your browser. Go to permission, then I recommend you to turn on this permission. So it is better if you can turn on this permission, then close the application to move to the second method. Like this, I will close all my application. Then you can open your web browser. It doesn't matter which browser on your mobile, just use your default web browser. Then go to search bar. Then you have to type and search this one. Recover your Google account or Gmail. Now 
The first one is advertisement. So you have to select the second one. How to recover your Google account or Gmail. Just select that one. Now you will read it to this web page. Here you have to scroll a little bit down. Under forward to your password, you have to tap this blue color link called recover your Google account or Gmail. Then you will get this recovery window. Here, like earlier, you have to enter your hackered email ID. Like this, enter your email ID and tap the next button. Then it asks you to enter your password or get a verification code to your email ID. Like that, it will show all possible recovery methods. Here, if you can access at least one of these verification methods, just select that. Otherwise, just tap try another way to to go to the next one then again it will show another verification method they ask me to use another device or they ask me to use my google or any other authentication application code or any backup code here i highly recommend you to select at least one of these verification method using that verification method you can verify yourself and you can get a recovery link but in worst case scenario you can just tap try another way to find is there a new verification method if google can confirm you are the real owner of this account google allows you to recover this account then you will get this kind of message after tap continue then you can see this will come back notice and they will allow you to create a new password without having any old password but unfortunately, if you couldn't get this welcome back window, still you get that error message call couldn't sign you in, you have to fix that error. So I invite you to watch the error fixing video in the description. After watching that video, you can easily log back into your account without having any security method. So if you want to find out more recovery method, you can click this end screen video or you can find those videos on my YouTube channel. As well as I will put the playlist link in this video description. That's it for today's tutorial. Bye bye for now.